As I've been saying, as we sit with Jesus' parables, Jesus shared these parables at a time of great change in the world. When he shares these parables, these metaphors of the kingdom, he's creating this big and spacious thought world, these stories for his disciples to climb inside and wonder about their world and find wisdom for the next best step, best steps within that world. And again, Rob Bell asks, what if it's not so important that these stories happened, but that they happen, that they are happening now and will happen again. These parables are for Jesus' disciples who lived with him 2,000 years ago as they faced a major shift in the world. And these are also parables for you, for Jesus' disciples living today, trying to be a movement for wholeness in a fragmented world, trying to face a major shift in the world with liberating love and justice. They are for you. We are all familiar with the parable of the mustard seed. And I think most of us know that the mustard plant is not a great tall tree revealed by all for its mighty arms and height as it grows. The mustard seed is a ruddy little bush. It grows a ruddy little bush that goes viral. We know this. We know this is how liberating love and justice works in the world, how it flows throughout the world. One woman... Bernice Burns prayed for a couple dozen new people to come to this church. And those couple dozen people came, and those couple dozen people, the majority of them, happened to be members of the LGBT plus community. From that one woman who prayed and that small cadre of people that spirit guided to this community, we became the first welcoming and affirming and empowering congregation in our denomination, a denomination that is now overwhelmingly affirming. Now, many of our churches have not yet made that official statement, um, and some are not actually affirming, but by and large, this, this international family of churches is affirming, and that began with this one small church. Bernice Burns planted a mustard seed, and now we are an orchard of ruddy little bushes welcoming everyone and adding flavor to our world. It's easy now to think that we cannot make a difference. I find that thought going through my mind over and over again. Welcome table, my guess is that we will never be as a community a tall and towering tree of a church. My guess is that people won't walk by us and be struck by our obvious impact. We are a ruddy little mustard bush. And I think that's wonderful. We will act justly, justly. We will love mercy. We will walk humbly with our God who will lead us in the ways of liberating love and justice and welcome. The Talmud tells us, do not be daunted by the enormity of the world's grief. Do justly now. Love mercy now. Walk humbly now. You are not obligated to complete the work, but neither are you free to abandon it. Welcome table. We are in a listening and discerning season of renewing our commitment to be a community, a movement for wholeness in a fragmented world. We are in a season where we are discerning what a powerful and new and renewed commitment to be an anti-racist community looks like. And the world is enormous and the world's grief is enormous. Do not be daunted. We are not the community that will complete the work. But neither are we the community that will stand down when Spirit is calling us boldly forth into the work of anti-racism and viral, liberating love and justice and welcome for all that God has made human and non-human. Welcome table, my sweet, sweet little mustard seed community, my ruddy little bush. Your call today is simple and minuscule, even as it is revolutionary and profound. Do justly now, love mercy now, walk humbly now. If you need help discerning what those three things look like for you, if you want to chat with me or an elder, elder, or if you want help connecting with a movement or a volunteer opportunity or a book to read or a spiritual director, email me at pastor at welcometablecc.org. We will walk with you.
Our faith is not a pie in the sky face. Faith, it is here and now. Your legacy in the movement for full affirmation and power and empowerment of those marginalized by their gender, sexual orientation, family shapes and sizes is not a pie in the sky legacy. It is tangible and visible now. And so is our calling in anti-racism, in intersectional justice, in standing in solidarity with our global eco ecosystem. None of this is pie in the sky. It is here and now now and it is calling. So if you need partnership in the discerning work of being a ruddy little mustard bush for liberating love and justice, again, reach out to pastor at welcometablecc.org. Do justly now. Love mercy now. Walk humbly now. It is not your work to complete the coming of the kingdom of liberating love and justice and welcome, but it is your call to participate. You are not liberated to abandon the work because it is more than you, you can accomplish. You are liberated to do your portion, portion of the work now and trust spirit for the rest. Hallelujah and amen.